Hi, this is what you're waiting for. And today I was going to uh, show you our potatoes that we're growing. Uh, we've been doing a lot of YouTube searches and found information on growing potatoes in buckets. So that's our little experiment this year. Uh, we bought these seed potatoes. It was, uh, if I can walk over here, I can skip the bag. It was Yukon Gold. Right there. Uh, it was Yukon Gold, and we bought them back in February. Thought we'd uh, get the buckets and get going, and then we had a lot of snow, bad weather. So we put them away, found them about a month, maybe four or five weeks ago, and they were sprouting. They had uh, long stems coming up, no leaves. So we knew we needed to get them in the ground, and so we did. And I was just going to show you uh, these are our potatoes that are growing. Uh, we didn't get buckets, five gallon buckets, but we found uh, these, a, a lot of them that somebody had thrown away. It was a landscaper. Uh, they're, most of them are at least a foot to 18 inches tall. But like that one right there, I'd say that's a good two foot tall. So this has just happened, oh, in the past month maybe five weeks. Uh, something we didn't do is we knew we were only going to have so many buckets. So we did not cut them up. We planted the whole thing because we knew if we cut them up we wouldn't be able to use them anyway. <clears throat> so we planted the whole potato. Uh, we let them grow a little bit added some more dirt and they're pretty much all the way up now with dirt. I have no idea what it's going to be like when we harvest them. We're expecting nothing or maybe just a few off of each bucket. We're hoping for much better. We're hoping for quite a few. Uh, the excellent thing would be if there was, you know, really usable potatoes coming from each bucket. And I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 buckets we have. There was 14 potatoes in the little bag. The bag was $5 for the seed potatoes. Um, we're doing this experiment because we have bought or are in the process of right now buying land, which we are going to move to. We're in a, um, well, as you can see, just a little suburb right now. Uh... We have no land here, but we are buying some water, uh, I mean some land um, with a little pond close by, about 20 minutes away, and we want to get used to all of these skills of living in the country so that when we finally move there and we build a house and uh, we move there full time, we could at least be semi-self-sufficient, hoping to be fully self-sufficient. So this was an experiment to see if it works. Uh, it would probably be a lot better once we get to the land and actually, that one's looking really good, um, actually uh, plant in the ground. But it's just to give us some skills to know, you know, that this works, that this doesn't work. Um, we're trying to do a lot of that now so that later on, you know, we will be able to find out what works for us, what doesn't work. Uh, we also have some peppers, jalapenos, uh, some small red peppers that we have planted, our cilantro, uh, we, we always have cilantro, this was our first that we're going to harvest pretty soon, that's going to be our second harvest, and our third one is just starting, I don't know if you can see the little, let me see, there we go, the little one's starting. So we have, uh, three harvests going. This is something we do every year. Um, so we're hoping, uh, the red peppers, the little red hot peppers, like chili peppers, and the jalapenos, we've never done by seed before, so we're waiting to see what happens to see if they work. Uh, but just to, to let you know, these are the potatoes. I'm gonna, uh, when we go to harvest time, I'll 
videotape it, let y'all know what's happening, see if we actually received anything, or if we just get dirt. <laughs> so, I'll keep you updated. Bye-bye.